you can somewhat target, but it's more effective for, for businesses that do have physical locations in those areas. <clears throat> and the thing that you want to measure with local search is geo-segmented analytics, obviously. You want to take your analytics and look at localized keyword performance. Um, if, if your local channels uh, local channel performance, so in-store or through your dealerships or distributors, you know, how those are doing across regions. Because your local searches, your local search opportunities could be playing into how successful your offline channels are doing as well. Um, very related to local searches, PPC and display. So with PPC and display, there are a lot of opportunities here via mobile. <clears throat> because there's less competition on a mobile device. The screen size is smaller, so that means there are less results that are showing up on a mobile search. So if you're running PBC in a mobile, uh, if you're targeting PB, your PBC campaign for mobile, there's less, comp there's less competition in the screen, on the screen. There's actually a higher click-through rate and lower cost per click than compared with the desktop campaign. So PVC is actually very primed for, um, for B2B to target. Uh, unlike desktop searches, this is similar to local search as well. Mobile searches are, are heavily skewed towards research. So they, re they result in less direct con conversions and less direct ROI measurements, but they do play into the decision-making process of someone who's considering to purchase. You'll need um, a PPC campaign management platform. If you're already running PPC campaigns, that's already available. Um, you just need to segment out and target towards mobile devices. Um, PPC does allow you to get very detailed geo-targeting and device targeting. So that's, you know, that's a lot of information that can help you um, understand what your users' mobile behaviors are and how you can target them through paid search. And once again, um, the best use for PPC and display is for long-term lead generation, and what you want to measure is those geo-segmented analytics again. <clears throat> and the last tactic we'll talk about today are 2D or QR codes. And QR codes are just um, those little barcode-looking things that are on um, a lot of banners and posters and magazines. And those codes are actually free to generate. So there are platforms available online from Microsoft, for example, Microsoft Tag. There's also other um, sites online that allow you to generate QR codes for free. Um, there are some platforms